Next, we define a term which is of great importance for engineer and that is your maximum deflection. Now we see from the elastic curves of both the beams, there is one point within the beam where your deflection is maximum. So in the simply supported beam, we see that there is one point somewhere in between point D and E where your deflection is maximum and we denote this maximum deflection by Y suffix M. So let us define a point where deflection is maximum as point G. Similarly, in the cantilever beam, we see that your deflection at point D, YD is your maximum deflection. Now for timing, let us now consider only a simply supported beam. Now for simply supported beam, we see that deflection is maximum at a point where the slope is zero. So at this point where we see that your deflection is maximum, the slope at this point is zero, meaning that tangent to the point on the elastic curve is completely horizontal. Next, we take topic design of beams. So there are two criterions for the design of beam. First, when the beam cross sections are designed for maximum permissible bending stress and shear stress, the design criterion is called strength criterion. Now we have studied design of beams based on bending stress and shear stress in their respective chapters. Now this chapter deflection of beams gives another criterion for the design of beam which is when beam cross sections are designed for maximum deflection the design criterion is called stiffness criteria. So when we limit the deflection of beams within some permissible value a criteria is called stiffness criteria as it is equally important to restrict the deflection within safe limits since it gives bad vibes to the occupants of the structure and occupants feels unsafe. So let us now derive the governing differential equation of beams. Consider a beam AB subjected to pure bending due to two equal and opposite couple at its ends. We know that beam bends in the form of circular arc also called as elastic curve of beam. The radius of curvature of the arc is given as m by i is equal to e by r where r is your radius of curvature of the beam which is very high as compared to the dimensions of the beam. This is the expression which we have obtained in the chapter bending stress. So we can write R is equal to EI by M. Let this be equation 1. Now for the beam subjected to pure bending, the radius of curvature is same at all the points. But in the general case, the radius of curvature will not be same all along the length of beam when it is not subjected to pure bending because of the effects of shear force. Now consider a small elemental segment of the elastic curve of the beam PQ and of length which is the arc length DS. Now let's see this part of the beam in an enlarged